Welcome to our lecture online. So what is a geometric sequence? It's different from arithmetic series in that the next number in the sequence can be found by multiplying the previous one by some constant. So instead of having a difference that's fixed between each one of the, the terms, like it is in an arithmetic sequence, here we have to multiply the previous one by a fixed number to get the next one and then multiply that one by the fixed number to get the next one and so forth. So in essence, what we do is to find the next term in the sequence, we take the previous term and multiply it by r. Now r is called the common ratio. We can find the common ratio by taking the ratio, and that's why it's called the common ratio, of the next term divided by the preceding term. It doesn't matter if you have a sub n over a sub n minus 1 or a sub n plus 1 over a sub n. It doesn't matter. It's just the very next term in the sequence. And when you take that ratio, you have what we call the common ratio. And it's the same no matter which two numbers you pick in the sequence, as long as one is the next one. All right, so here we have an example. We have 1, 3, 9, 27, 81. So first, we need to find the common ratio. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that the common ratio is equal to the next number, a sub n plus 1, divided by the previous number, a sub n. Or it can be written as a sub n divided by a sub n minus 1. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. So in this case, let's say for an example, we pick the fourth one, a sub 4, and we divide it by the previous one, a sub 3. In this case, a sub 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 27, and a sub 3 is 9, and that ratio is equal to 3. And again, it doesn't matter which one we pick, we could have said this is equal to a sub 5 divided by a sub 4. In this case, a sub 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 81, a sub 4 is 27, and again, the ratio is 3. That common ratio will be the same between any two adjacent terms in the sequence, and that's called the common ratio. Once you know what the common ratio is, you can now pick and you can now find the next term. For example, what's the next term after this? Well, here we can see that uh, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We now want to get the sixth term. So what we can say here is that the sixth term, a sub 6, is equal to the common ratio r times the previous term, a sub 5. So in this case, that is equal to 3 times a sub 5, which is 81. And so that's going to be equal to 243. So that's the next term in the sequence, because all we have to do is take the previous one, the previous term, and multiply it times the common ratio to get the next one. And so when we have a situation like that, we're dealing with a geometric sequence, not an arithmetic sequence. And that's the difference between the two. I did it.